Hey guys, this time we are going to compare two Intel processors. The interesting part is that on the one hand we have a dual core CPU with hyperthreading, that means two physical cores and two logical cores, and on the other hand we have four cores without hyperthreading. Both CPUs are from the same production year, have the same socle and will be installed on the same motherboard. So we have the i3-530 with a base clock speed of 2.93 GHz and the i5-760 CPU with base clock of 2.8 GHz which has the ability to boost its base clock speed to 3.33 GHz and has also double the amount of smart cache. In order to make this comparison fair, we have overclocked both CPUs at 3.5 GHz and we use the same hardware components, that is a Gigabyte P55-8 motherboard, 16 gigs of DDR3 RAM and a GTX 960 4GB version from Palit. Although we can assume that the i5 will be a lot better because of the extra 2 cores, we want to see how much of an advantage will 4 cores have in gaming benchmarks. Will it make a tremendous difference? Let's find out. First we will do some rendering tests. At Cinebench the i3 got 260 points where the i5 got 429 points. Also in our time rendering test the i3 rendered the image in 2 minutes 33 seconds whereas the i5 did that in 1 minute 33 seconds. We can see clearly that 4 cores perform a lot better than 4 threads at render and that's normal. It is time to see what the difference will be in game. The CPU and GPU usage will be displayed during the test so that we can see what is going on every second. I must say that not all games allowed me to view afterburn stats so we have only frame count there but the footage is the actual game footage captured with an external capture card. in dad's research about this it was said the prophet's tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the forgotten cities legend speaks of an oasis this wind is crazy we just need to keep moving hey even if we don't find anything up here you're done modifications, those visions. People aren't even sure what or who you are anymore. What do you believe? I'm here, aren't I? Okay, let's keep it quiet here. We're getting close to... Someone dive in after the kids, start screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says, dude? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. 
Hey man, you ask. Look, I mean, yeah, but I thought you were gonna tell me a story about some. As we saw in our benchmarks, we do have a 10 to 20% advantage in some games using the i5 processor and that is because these games are optimized for a quad core CPU. On the other hand, we also have games with a minimal difference of a couple frames, that means the extra two cores did absolutely nothing. If you are planning to build a gaming system, you should consider not only the performance but also the budget you have. Dual core CPUs are a lot cheaper to buy so you can invest on a better GPU for example and in the future you can always upgrade to a faster quad core CPU. That is up to you to decide. Make your research first. Which CPU are you planning to buy? Is it gonna handle well the GPU you want to pair it with? If you have any further questions about this comparison, feel free to ask anything in the comments. Make sure to like the video and subscribe for more. See you next time.